Sorry, I'm just like looking at the shelves and most of them are like bending, which is not good at all. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily and in today's video I am finally doing my book room slash bookshelf tour. I have been wanting to do this video for so so long but yesterday I actually changed my whole book room and moved it to a different room in our house because the room I was in was really dark and dull all the time because it never got any natural sunlight or anything and it was really just not cozy at all to actually sit in and read and it was always cold in there as well because of getting no natural lighting. So my boyfriend moved his like little gaming room into that room and then I moved upstairs so I now have a massive book room that is really cozy and I'm literally obsessed so it's finally time to film this video because I am in love with my setup so if you wanted to see what my old book room sort of looked like I do have a house tour up that I posted a couple of months ago and I also post TikToks of it occasionally so if you want to see like a more updated version of what it was you can look at my TikToks but now it's at a really amazing point that I love but before I get started with this video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more book content from me my social medias will be on the screen and also all linked in the description as well if you wanted to check those out but I'm just gonna quickly explain how I'm going to do this video so first of all I'm going to do a tour of the room itself so I'm gonna do pretty much just an overview of everything tell you where I got things from show you an overview of the bookshelves and then after I do that I will go into like an in-depth view of each bookshelf and book I must say the way my bookshelves are organized at the moment I don't really like because I used to have coloured order, but then I got sick of the colour and the fact that authors were never together. So now I've put authors together, but then some books is just like, I have random books by random authors that don't have like their own collection. So everything's kind of all over the place, but I will still show you my little bookshelf tour and maybe I'll do another reorganising video soon. So as you walk into the room, this is what everything looks like and I'm going to kind of go like anti-clockwise like around like this so then I can stop at the bookshelves when I'm ready to do those. So to start off I actually put this mirror in here just because I feel like it'd be such a cute place to take like little outfit photos in the morning and stuff because like my books are in the background, the little bean bag, like it's just a really cute space. Ignore this massive tripod, I couldn't be bothered taking my camera off it. But I took this out of our bedroom and put it in here but I feel like it looks a lot better in here anyway. That's just some jigsaw picture frames that I haven't got anywhere for yet. I don't know if I'm going to put them back up or not but they're just sitting there for now. So then over here we have my Pride and Joy which is my rose quartz table. I literally probably like one of my favorite pieces of furniture in the house. So on top of it, I just have this fake plant from Kmart. This lamp is from Fantastic Furniture, I think. Just a little rose quartz tea light, a candle, and then some fake like books. It's Dior and Gucci, I think. And then my drink, which I'm about to have. I haven't even opened it yet. And then over here, I have this chair. So this is kind of like my reading corner. So the chair is from Kmart. However, they just bring it in stock and then they never restocked it. I actually wanted to get a second one so I could have them both downstairs in our lounge room, but they never bring this one back with the gold legs. So I'm kind of really annoyed, but what can you do? <laughs> so the chairs from Kmart, the pillow is from Target Australia. And then this little fluffy footstool is from Fantastic Furniture, which I just keep in front of it. So I've actually got somewhere to rest my feet when I'm reading, but I am literally obsessed with this little reading corner. I love it so much. And uh, it's literally just like my pride and joy. Okay. And then moving over here, I have these eight like cube unit bookshelves. So in these, I keep pretty much just series. So it's either like a series or like an author's books that I just really want to keep together. And I've kind of got a lot of them. So it's too much for the book shelves so I love this little corner I do need to reorganize it a little bit like add a few more decor pieces but as I said I just did this yesterday so I'm not a hundred percent finished but I'll go through them properly later and then on top these pictures I had hanging up downstairs but it looked really bare on top of here and I feel like these pictures fit perfectly and I love them so much so I just decided to keep them all sitting on top and I actually really like it so I'm probably gonna keep those there and then in the corner I just have this fake plant which actually looks kind of real. It just adds something to the corner and adds a little bit more greenery into the room. Then we have my bookshelves. So I think these bookshelves are both from Ikea, but I'm not entirely sure because we've had them for literally years in my family. So I kind of just took them and like didn't buy them myself or anything, but I do really love them and they're pretty basic. So you can probably find them anywhere anyway. And then over here I have 
a white like fluffy bean bag and a pillow on top. Um, that's like my little TBR pile. I need to get a new TBR cart because I used it somewhere else in the house. On the floor, this rug is from Kmart as well. So the rug, bean bag and pillow are all from Kmart as well. Yeah, that is an overview of the room. Didn't take me too long to go through because it's not very cluttered or anything. But I am going to go through my bookshelves now and tell you what each like little section is. Okay, so now we're nice and close. I'm going to tell you what each section of my bookshelf is. And hopefully I can actually like reach and show you the top sections because they're kind of tall for me. But We'll see how well I go. So up here, I just have John Green books. I've pretty much brought all of those secondhand and I've never actually read a John Green book. I think I might've read Paper Towns like 10 years ago or something, but I just have them there and I do want to get to them again someday. And then I have Leanne Moriarty, um, also an author that I would have just brought secondhand. Then I have Sally Rooney. I've got a few books from her, but I haven't read any of these either. I do really need to read Normal People because I know it's meant to be amazing. Then this shelf, I kind of have a lot of normal Normal authors, the Fifty Shades of Grey series, A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. I love that book. So I have a lot of really like random authors in there. This is kind of like my romance shelf, this whole shelf. But that being said, I do have romance books on the other side as well because I couldn't fit them all on this side. Yeah, it's just like a romance shelf. Some parts are random, some aren't. So then onto the next shelf, we have all of my Colleen Hoover books. I haven't really read any um, recently because of like her scandals and stuff. But yeah, I still do have them all here and I will get to read them at some point. This is kind of like my mafia romance books. I don't know why I just decided to keep them together. So we have The Sweetest Oblivion. Um, they just look good together and of course they kind of all match the same vibe. Binding 13 I really need to read as well. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow and The No Show which I absolutely hated. Next shelf we have all of my Ali Hazelwood books along here first of all. Then we have my Mariana Zapata books. I don't have too many but I do definitely need to get more so I've just got three for now. The After series which I do really want to read but the movies are so bad that it just puts me off even trying the book but if you're seeing this, convince me to read the Arthur series because I really still need to. And then I have all my Alice Oseman books. So I have the Heartstopper series and Solitaire, Radio Silence, Loveless, I Was Born For This. And then these like little mini novellas as well. So I don't have to move the tripod up and down all the time. I'm going to go straight over to this side while the tripod is tall and then I'll drop it and do like the bottom shelves. Okay, I don't even know like what I've done over here. I kind of just chucked everything on randomly. So we have the Mindfuck series, which I read on my Kindle last year and I just brought the physical copy because I loved it so much. Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I have the U series, like the U TV show, but I don't know if I'll ever get to read those either. I just thought it might be good to read at some point. Stephen King's books, I've only got three and I've only read Billy Summers, but I didn't really like it that much. Then I have books from E. Lockhart. Everyone in my family has killed someone. The Dash Hound wears Prada. I literally brought that because the cover is just cute. We have Yellow Face, which is like a new, really popular book as well. The last thing you told me, counterfeit, black people call, the dash you call, say you remember me, when things are like they come. Next shelf we have my Harry Potter series. I've only ever read the first book and watched the first movie but I do need to read the rest of those as well. The One of Us is Lying series. Dial A for aunties and four aunties and a wedding. I adored both of those books. They're so funny. Like if you want a really happy funny read go and read those because they're actually amazing. We have The Hunger Games, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series, The Serpent and the Wings of Night and Red Queen series. I don't know what that series is called but it's by Victoria Ave yard and then down here we have my twilight series i did have the black ones but then i saw someone get the white ones and i'm really obsessed with these white covers so i brought them and then donated my black covers the divergent series i brought recently adam silvera's book so he wrote they both die at the end everyone would know that book from early day book talk the song of achilles and cirque or cirque by madeline miller a good girl's guide to murder i've got two books in that series but i forget what happened in the first book and i don't want to reread it before going into the second book but i'm just intimidated to go into the second book not really knowing what happened in the first one if that makes sense the cruel prince trilogy which is just in this little box set the inheritance games trilogy and my dark romeo okay now we're on the floor so we're gonna do the bottom three shelves on this side first so first of all i have books from lynn painter i've got like four there um abby hibben hib 
Abby Jimenez. I've got a few books from her as well. Then I have my books from Lucy School. I definitely need to buy more of her books because I literally love her writing style so much. Then we have books from Sarah Adams. So When in Rome, Practice Makes Perfect and The Cheat Sheet, which The Cheat Sheet was like also an original book talk book that I haven't read. So I probably should at some point as well. Then I have my Emily Henry books, which I've read two out of four of them, but I really, really want to read the other two. Then we have my books from Lauren Asher. So I have the Dreamland Billionaire series and then the Dirty Air series, but only the first book in that series because I haven't actually read any of them yet. Then I have books from Jenny Hahn. So I've got the Summer I Turned Pretty series to all the boys I've loved before and then the Summer I Turned Pretty movie slash TV show covers because I really like those ones. And then next shelf I have the Chestnut Spring series by Elsie Silva. So I've got all of those books. I've got all of my books from Christina Lauren, which obviously is two authors, but yeah, they're all together. Penelope Douglas, Casey McQuiston. I've actually never read any of her books, but they are there. I've got a few books from Tessa Bailey. Again, I haven't actually read any of those. And It Happened One Summer was like one of those original book talk books as well but I'm kind of saving that to read in summer because I don't want to ruin the experience for myself but I will get to it at some point. Then I have Kathleen Glasgow, Sally Thorne, Carly Fortune, Elle Kennedy. I've got A Brush With Love and The Tumble Glass which are kind of just random romances as well. And then let's go to the bottom shelf over here. So we have the Selection series, the Eden series, Arch is Always which is my new favourite book ever, My Policeman, Not So Meet Cute, Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. I need to read that so bad because I feel like I'm the only person in the world that hasn't read it but I will get to it. Beach Rivals. I brought this recently because it literally looks like Beach Read so I kind of got good vibes from it so we'll see if I like it. Funny you should ask. The Summer of Broken Rules. I'm actually going to start that later. My Dog Vanessa. The Kiss Quotient. That was like an original, original book talk book and I still haven't read it. Then we have The Perfect Couple by Alan Hildebrand. I want more books from her as well. Trent Dalton. Elena Armas and then all of these are like Christmas slash holiday themed books. I've kind of kept them all together and just like down in the bottom corner because I just don't want to look at them when it's not Christmas time, you know? But I can't wait to read those during Christmas time because I love like Christmas themed books. So we have my Stephanie Garber book. So I've got Caraval, which I haven't actually read. That's why I haven't got the whole series. Then I've got the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. Funny story, I ordered this one and obviously it's really big compared to like my original once Upon a Broken Heart cover. So I saw the littler cover and I had to buy it because I have to have matching and now I just have an extra. I have Haunting Adeline and Hunting Adeline. I've never read them, but people say amazing things about them. So I am very excited to get to them. Don't even know what they're about, to be honest, but I'll get there eventually. Rebecca Yaros. So we've got Fourth Wing and The Things We Leave Unfinished. I saw the Then the next shelf, we have all of you, Blake. So we have the Atlas Six and Alone With You in the Ether, Chain of Gold. I've been seeing um, Rachel Catherine talk about this series so much and I brought the first book just to see if I like it, but whenever I get to it, we'll see. But I have seen her rave about that series, so that's why I brought it. Margot Mertz takes it down, The Strangers We Know, The Girl Before Whisper, <laughs> 1984. Down the bottom, I just have some like self-help type of books. So we've got the 48 Laws of Power, my boyfriend brought that, but we just keep them all together. Um, The Laws of Human Nature, he brought that one as well. Atomic Habits, The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F, Toxic Positivity, The Power of Now, 12 Rules of Life, The Daily Stoic, and then I have I'm Glad My Mum Died and Everything I Know About Love. I have two little poem books on here with a candle on top. But that was that section complete, so that was all of my books on my main bookshelf, and now I'm going to go through the books on these cubes. So I need to drop my camera height again because it's a little bit too tall. Okay, so you probably would have seen most of these when I did my overview anyway, but I have the Akatar series, I have the Magnolia Parks Universe series. I've only read Magnolia Parks number one, but I'm so excited to continue the series because that book was absolutely insane. And then I have the Addicted Slash Calloway Sisters series. I'm only up to Kiss the Sky, so that's why I haven't got the whole series yet because I'm kind of buying them as I go. I have the Shadow Me series, which I also haven't finished. I think I'm up to Restore Me or Imagine Me, but I really need to finish that series as well. I'm literally halfway through so many series, which is so bad. And then I have the Off Campus series. I have all of my Crystal Tarot 
witchy type of books from when I used to do a lot of that just so I can keep them all together. Then I have all of my Taylor Jenkins Reid books and my Anna Fong books. So I've got the If Love series, the Twisted series and her newer series which I haven't actually started yet. But yeah that was everything in my book room. I feel like I was kind of rushing it a little bit and I'm kind of like puffing because I don't know I'm just in such a rush. I kind of rushed it a little bit because after this I'm going to drive to buy myself a Stanley Cup and they're not really that like popular in Australia so I had to find a place and now I have to drive like 40 minutes to get there and 40 minutes back and I want to beat peak hour traffic so like I'm gonna leave really soon to go and get that so I'm gonna be a Stanley Cup girly I feel like the trend is kind of over but I saw one video about how like you can twist the lid with the straw and like sippy cup and I was like that is amazing I need to buy it simply because that twisty thing so yeah I am going to get one but that's very off topic. As I said, that was everything in my book room. I will be filming a lot of videos in here. In fact, probably all of my videos in here. But with all of that being said, I really hope you all enjoyed the video. So don't forget to give it a like if you did enjoy it because it will really help me out and help my channel grow. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. Sorry, I'm just like looking at the shelves and most of them are like bending, which is not good at all. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.